NBA players buy some really weird things. $100,000 gaming setups, supercars you can't even imagine, illegal toys. These are weird things NBA players actually bought. And what LeBron James bought wasn't only weird, it could have him facing jail time. When he walked in for the NBA Finals, his fashion had cameras flashing. But it wasn't only because he was wearing suit shorts. It's because he was a grown-ass man carrying a purse. This is an exclusive Tom Brown bag, and it costs $41,000 because it's made out of alligator skin. But little did LeBron know, this bag could have got him arrested. Since he pulled up to Oracle Arena, which is located in California, it turned out his man purse ain't allowed in the entire state. It's all because a California judge issued a statewide ban on any products created from alligator skin. And if you make, sell, or even own a bag made from it, the punishment is a $5,000 fine and six months in jail. So let's just hope before LeBron joined the Lakers, he sold it. Otherwise, what he bought could have had him fleeing the country like another player's purchase. Because what Lance Stevenson bought was so weird, he had to go to Dubai to use it. This is where Lance pulled up to splash out. I'm on a lamb truck for the boat, bro. Dude really bought a car that drives on water and catches waves over 60 miles an hour. He really be row, row, rowing his Corvette jet car speedboat and loving every second of it. I'm on a lamb truck for the boat. Are you kidding me? But a car that drives on water, sure, that's weird. But not as weird as transforming your backyard so you can treat your fetish. Growing up, campaign's always been a gamer. For a lot of games that I really like, 2K, Madden, Call of Duty, he's about to get into Halo. But Cam's teammates took his obsession to another level. So once campaigns started playing campaigns, yeah, I just had to say it. Behind the scenes, Cam began taking his gaming career more seriously, starting up a Twitch account and also beginning to upgrade his gaming setup. And when most people want to take gaming serious, they might cop a console, headset, and a few monitors. But Cam Payne bought an entire gaming house for his backyard. Right next to his pool, Cam got the setup of his dreams. This place has everything, man. Decorations all over the walls, TVs, arcade games, furniture with built-in speakers that also charge your phone. Cam might as well just make this his actual house, man. It cost him 100K, but this purchase is nothing compared to what other players in this video bought. They caused criminal investigations, worldwide addictions, career-ending scandals, and I'm gonna tell you all about it, but before I do, our sponsor, PrizePix, want us to let you know about this Thanksgiving promo. PrizePix is an app that allows you to watch any of your favorite players and make money doing it. And right now, they have a deal for Thanksgiving where if Justin Jefferson gets just one yard, you win. Like, I know this is Hoopflix, but this deal was so crazy, I just had to let you guys know. I don't know why you wouldn't try it. And if you download the app, use code FLIX, and deposit $100, you get $100 of free credits. So just click the link in the description at Prize Picks Flix, deposit what you want, enter on Jefferson, and let me know what happens. But now, I'm gonna let you know what happened to this next player. Cause what he was buying was so weird, it turned into an FBI investigation. Now, can you really be surprised that dude who looks like this is doing something weird? This is Robin Lopez, and what he's been buying came straight out of fairy tale. He's always been obsessed with Disney characters, and that's why throughout his entire life, he's always seen a Disney world. From boat rides, to haunted houses, and even riding roller coasters. Every time Robin shows up, he has the time of his life. Till one day, he became a suspect in a high profile crime. See, cause Robin loves everything Disney, he also has a hobby of collecting Disney memorabilia. His go-to site was eBay, and that's where he connected with another Disney super fan, Patrick Spikes. Um, over eBay, he had posted an item that was kind of intriguing me as a collector. These boys started bonding over toys, and Robin was interested in what Patrick could serve him. I, I, I know I've been having a little bit of trouble getting to you, but uh, come on, we're, we're buddies, right? Patrick's collection included Disney figures, dresses, crowns, wigs, and clothing accessories. And I don't know why some grown men would need all of that, but the main thing to realize is 
that Robin was trying to make an expensive purchase. Clothes from an old Disney character named Buzzy. So that's when Robin tried getting the deal done. Now even though this purchase cost Robin $7,000, after buying it, out of nowhere, Robin was tracked down by the police. Agents had gotten a tip that valuable Disney World collectibles had been going missing, and the top suspects were Patrick and Robin. But see, it wasn't necessarily Robin's fault. He was just a weird dude in a weird place at a weird time, and he didn't mean anybody any harm. But the man he'd been dealing with, Patrick, wasn't who Robin thought he was. It turned out that he wasn't just a fan of Disney and selling memorabilia. He actually worked at Disney World and was secretly creating fake ID badges to gain access to top secret storage units, was caught lurking around, and apparently stole over $500,000 worth of Disney items, then sold them. So the FBI tracked his PayPal account and suspiciously noticed tens of thousands of dollars in transactions, and in one of those was Robin. Patrick was taken into custody and asked details about the theft. He didn't yet know it, but the FBI also tapped his phone and tracked down the exact pictures he used on eBay to sell the stolen goods. So not only did Patrick try lying to police's faces, they instantly knew he was guilty when out of nowhere, he tried running out of the room with his phone. Now, Patrick faced charges for dealing stolen property, and after his court appearance, he was sentenced to 250 hours of community service and forced to pay over $25,000 in fines, including an extra 10K to Robin for getting his name involved in this scheme. But after all, Robin's an innocent man. He was just trying to spend money to have fun. But at least neither of them are buying things to spread an addiction worldwide so they can make billions, like Jimmy Butler. Jimmy's addiction started getting out of control during the NBA's bubble. Because when I saw videos of him cooking up his fix and acting like this, <laughs> I mean, ain't no normal person making faces and laughing like that. But it was here, Jimmy realized a purchase he could make to spread his addiction all over the NBA and eventually the world to make himself billions. Jimmy's become a fiend for caffeine. And he's so addicted to coffee that not only has he been drinking seven to 10 cups every single day, he spent over $6,000 just to make sure he can make coffee anywhere he goes. He bought a portable coffee lab called the La Marzocco Linea Mini. This is Jimmy's baby, and uh, I wasn't kidding. Dude even brings this thing on planes. But this purchase was just part of his master plan to make more money pouring than he ever did scoring. The machine fueled his addiction and also helped him start his own coffee business where dudes taxing to get them racks in. That's why he named his company Big Face, which also means $100 bills, because that's how much he's charging per cup. He started off serving players in the NBA's bubble and got them so addicted, they'd be sad if he closed up shop. I came to a Big Face coffee, but it's closed, man. And this time I bring cash too. Now I don't have other option to go to Little Face coffee. Mm. And once Jimmy started walking into NBA games with his coffee, even the analysts knew it gives him special powers. And he's getting to the arena there. He's got the big face coffee. And I hope he had a couple cups because he's going to need that extra energy tonight again. So because Jimmy's brand was going viral and everybody wanted a taste, he decided to turn his big face brand into a worldwide empire, investing in the coffee trucks and shops in Miami. He's even dropped a $500 coffee box that comes with an exclusive NFT. And he designed his own coffee lab that fans can purchase for 100 k Jimmy plans on sending his addiction global, but he's also been keeping his business a secret. And he's only letting NBA players join in if they pay him plenty of big faces. Jimmy told me I could invest in the, in the company if I put uh, 15 mil. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's such a dick. Jimmy's gotta be careful, man. Cause sometimes NBA players turn things into a competition to see who can buy something weirder, like Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. Hey man, I told you mine would be big. At the time, both guys were teammates on the Pelicans, but they were up to something fishy. And it was a well-kept secret until AD had the boys at tanked whip up the aquarium of his dreams. Anthony Davis, come on in! Oh my God. God. The boys turned an entire room of AD's crib into an art project. 
They built him a custom fish tank with custom coral of AD's number 23, his logo, and up top, they installed a better unibrow than his. Oh my god. Nice and soft. Nice. That's nice. But probably one of the weirdest parts of this is the fact that the tank's even filled with poisonous fish and sharks. But that ain't why AD bought it. It's because he was competing with Demarcus to see who could make the crazier purchase. You can't get much bigger and better than that. Try me. AD got a hold of us, man. He heard that you were building something bigger and he just wanted to keep an eyebrow on you, so he told me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, DeMarcus definitely won the competition. I mean, his tank even made me wet. That fish tank definitely cost a sack, but James Harden bought something weird right off an NBA player's back? It shocked the world when Harden got traded and became a net. Whole time, fans thought pairing him up with KD and Kyrie was a match made in heaven what Harden was most focused on was not becoming a number 11. His eyes were on his teammate, Landry Shaman, a man who wore something near and dear to Harden's heart, the number 13. All cause Harden wore this number since high school, it sort of became a superstition, a ritual, something he couldn't play basketball without. So Harden needed it, even if it took bribing his teammate. The thing was, Shamit was playing hard to get. Harden made things public with an Instagram post asking Broski the price, but Shamit responded with a meme of Harden that came from a viral moment he had with famous rapper Lil Baby. Shamit related things back to the time that Harden showed up to Lil Baby's birthday party and gave him hella gifts. Give me a, 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 a Prada bag because he's proud of me, full of honey buns. With a honey bun, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit ain't got serious, man. And uh, just in case you couldn't understand whatever language Lil Baby was speaking, Harden must have been tweaking when he copped dude a $5,000 Prada bag, a $150,000 Richard Mill watch, gave him over $100,000 in cash, and completely filled the bag with honey buns. But this was no joke to Shaman. He wanted the exact same thing. Now, Harden wasn't trying to play games with a dude who probably wouldn't even play a game. So he said fuck it and gave in with an Instagram post. He said Shaman had him scrambling for honey buns and Rolexes and that he damn near was only worth cupcakes and an Apple watch. But in the end, Shamit didn't fold. And uh, I think he got his honey buns. Cause in every interview, dude's rocking a Rolex. And on the court, Harden's got his number. But at least buying all of that didn't spark a worldwide controversy like this next player's purchase. Tristan Thompson hit up one of the most famous jewelers in the world to design an exclusive piece that would literally change the history books. And at first, everything seemed like this was a masterpiece. This Jesus piece was made for my man Tristan Thompson. He hit me up and he was like, I want a black Jesus. But all right, even though Tristan copping a black Jesus chain seemed a little weird, nobody questioned it until the world found out about Tristan's scandal. It turned out that the purchase got to both of Tristan's heads. Cause just wearing the chain made him feel like he was actually Jesus. Reports came out that even though he was in a relationship with Khloe Kardashian and started a family with her, after Tristan bought the chain, he secretly started another social media account under the name Black Jesus and began DMing hundreds of Instagram models to hoop flicks and chill. And things stayed quiet till he got one pregnant. Once the story leaked, it went more viral than Tristan's basketball career. Cause I mean, he's ass and he used the Black Jesus chain and name to get some ass. So why wouldn't that be a headline? But his girl, Chloe, was broken and never fully trusted him again. But it's even deeper than that. The situation ruined Tristan's home life. On the court, he started having his worst NBA seasons ever. And now, he's quickly fallen out of the league cause nobody wants to deal with his media circus. So it's safe to say that now, his entire life has been ruined cause of black Jesus. But even though what some NBA players buy is weird, sometimes it costs them millions. One NBA player spent a million dollars in a single night. Another player spent 20 million to create his own location. And I know you wanna hear more about that. So just click this video right here.